Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Nordic Terms. Alan is from Halmstad, Sweden. I didn't make any video uh, between these days because uh, I didn't get uh, any vibe from my heart because uh, uh, the accident occurs in uh, Chopazir in Dhaka. Uh, I was really shocked uh, with the with the news, and uh, there are lots of dead bodies and uh, lots of innocent uh, innocent guys and people who are like dead and uh, suffering still with the with the with the infrastructure and everything. It's it's really very shocking to us. I think all of the nation. Uh, my my daughter last to last week. Uh, she made a video with the fire safety uh, how to. Uh, make conscious on fire safety and other things. I didn't know that uh, it, it, it's uh, so uh, it's so record or so important for everybody because in Sweden we maintain uh, all of the situation uh, how to control in the fire and some other catastrophe. Uh, every, everyone here uh, by the government they are secured with the with the security for this kind of catastrophe. I think, but uh, in Bangladesh uh, I don't know how to maintain that. Because this is a long-term process and uh, government don't have any headache on that. So I believe that it's possible to maintain the quality standard living there. But this is only from your heart. This is only can come from your heart, from your, if you want to do that. But the people doesn't want to do that. So then what to do? Because the, the prime minister, the minister, the member of parliament, the mayor and some other um, if I say that uh, they are doing a great job, uh, maybe they are. In a sense, they are not giving anything. They are giving shit to us because they didn't. They didn't know how to do that, or may, maybe they don't don't want to do that. So uh, to to make a security for yourself in Bangladesh, it's your duty to to start from yourself, not to to start from uh, uh, from from other people uh, who are like suffering this. Or, or after an accident, you are like uh, doing some, uh, take, telling some shit that, or doing some measures or something just to making a committee and they are doing their jobs. Uh, nothing will happen, you know. So uh, just uh, from my heart, it's, uh, it, it was shocked. Uh, it, it was a very shocked news and uh, we all are shocked actually. So uh, I didn't make any videos because I couldn't uh, have the energy, find the energy from my heart. So that's the reason. But now I'm in front of you. So uh, welcome back again in Nordic terms. And Alan is from Hamsta, Sweden. Today I'm going to talk about uh, how to make uh, your process for the work permit. But this video is not for Bangladeshi people. This is uh, kind of those who are already come in Sweden for and uh, searching for job and uh, want to go to work permit. But uh, also those who are intend to come this year, maybe. So for them, uh, because everyone is trying to get job here when they are living here or, or when they are coming to live here. So I should say that everyone should take care when they are intend to go to work permit. How to do that? Uh, last week, actually, I was uh, I was really shocked uh, to heard that news that last year there were fifteen percent. A work permit application was rejected uh, by the migration's worker, like the Swedish migration agency. And the reason was so many things, but among them, two reasons was the measure. So one, one of the reasons were uh, the insurance that you need to have in your collective agreement. Uh, it's, it's called in Swedish, it's called collective aptal. And other is your salary and your leave. So your holiday, vacation, and your salary. So I, first, uh, first I will talk about uh, the insurance and then I will cover the salary and other things. So those who are like uh, now intend to go to work permit, like uh, who has a job and apply for the work permit, that's good that uh, you apply for the work permit with all the necessary papers, that doesn't fact. But then you get all the papers from your employer, and then you are intend to go for the application. You applied for the work permit and then you get the work permit. Congratulations. Very welcome. But then it's your responsibility to ensure your insurance from the employer because employer will not insure you. It's the collective agreement, collective aptal. What is co what collective aptal is? What collective agreement? I should say collective agreement is kind of agreement which ensure the 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 employer union here 
like the work union here who insure your insurance like they insured your insurance about four types of insurance one is medical insurance one is uh, uh, your work injury insurance one is uh, third is uh, the life insurance that if you died or something during the working time or something then they will insure you and then the last but not least is the pension insurance so most of the company they have collective agreement and this collective agreement should have some with some insurance company so that uh, they can maintain the insurance every month with your salary in in a sense those who are doing like a white collar job here they should maintain the, the insurance from the employer but sometimes it, it did happen with some employ employees those who are white collar employees still but they didn't they didn't know that they are not insured by their by some insurance company so it, it was employer who always maintained this kind of thing but uh, employee just working with the company and then he doesn't know anything he knows that the, this is uh, already in the collective agreement so he didn't check with the insurance company and then when he applied for the extension it didn't work they got rejected and then there are so many cases pending and then they had to get back to their country like bangladesh or india so i should say this is your responsibility to maintain to check all of your insurers insurance with your employer because employer they will not say you they will not tell you that it will be in the payslip that uh, what amount they are paying uh, from from your salary but this is your responsibility to check with your employer which insurance company and then call them call that insurance company those insurance company though, who have uh, your personal number and if you are registered there or not because when you are applying for the work extension work extension permit then if they found that there are one or two insurance maybe uh, your employer is secured and other two insurance is not covered by the employer then your application will be rejected and you cannot do anything because this is the system here you have to have four insurance and otherwise your work permit extension will be rejected and then your like uh, you, you, when uh, suppose uh, if even if it's a work extension permit is accepted uh, when you are applying for the permanent residency after four years like two per permission work, work permit uh, application then in the third work permit application you are gonna have the peer permanent residency here and then they will reject you because this uh, if the insurance is not covered by the four insurance company so most of the companies have two insurance insurance like uh, most of the big companies have two insurance so first of all they have the life insurance and then other is the medical insurance so medical insurance and life insurance they covered those they don't co covered that is work in insurance injury insurance and other is uh, pension insurance when you you join there and you have all the documents just check with the insurance company because uh, if uh, the employer checked uh, checked with the insurance company that uh, uh, it's uh, covered by collective agreement check with that insurance company like uh, for me uh, we have a three kind of uh, insurance company that our employer is working with and then i checked with that that company first of all i checked with afa it's the a f a punct s e like dot s e this company works only with the with the with the people with the employee who are like blue collar job who have like blue collar job like uh, they have a, they are working in the warehouse they're working in uh, delivering things they're working in the uh, they have they have to uh, have a working environment like a, uh, like a service and, or something so they, they don't have any desk and they are working like a like a whole day uh, and uh, salary is uh, like per hour salary but uh, this is called blue collar and then uh, this blue collar employees uh, are registered in this afa.se then i called to alekta this alekta is uh, is working with the white collar job holders like a salaried employee so this kind of salaried employee is a monthly salary they got from the employer so alekta is working with that company and then when i checked with them uh, it was really surprised that it covered only two kind of insurance that was pension insurance and uh, life insurance no other insurance when i checked with them what is the package they got it was itp1 so this itp1 covered only two insurance and then i 
start checking with other insurance company. I checked uh, with the Collectum. Those uh, the insurance company is working also working with uh, our company. So this insurance company uh, suggest me that uh, you have these two kind of insurance and then other two kind of insurance you have something different insurance company. The medical insurance you will be covered by Fursak Rinkas son. So Fursak Rinkas son is the one who will insure your medical insurance. So this is also very important. So if you are like uh, checking with Fursak Rinkas son and they will give you a letter for your medical insurance, that's okay. That's very good. Then work injury. So this is a, a thing that you need to very very careful because if you are a white collar job holder like uh, it, in Swedish it calls Shenstiamen uh, if you are Shenstiamen or white collar job like you have a desk you have you, you are officer or manager or some kind of uh, responsible department responsible department head or some kind of official job you are doing then this is called a white collar job here and this kind of white collar job doesn't have work injury insurance because there are nothing to be injured but then i discovered something else that is if there is a burning in uh, in your uh, fire burning in your uh, office uh, or some kind of catastrophe who will insure your 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 uh, like if you're injured or something that will be insured by fora.se f o r a dot s e this insur insurance company is registered with our company and then I checked with them and my personal number is registered with them. So then I checked with all the insurance company and I found that uh, this is uh, awesome because my employer is maintaining everything but not all the company or not all the employer in the Sweden that they, they, they are maintaining this kind of uh, insurance uh, company or insured uh, to the employer so employee so you should uh, um, check by yourself if the company is maintaining the insurance company policy or not because it costs a lot of money then I checked uh, then I checked in a diagonal way because I always check uh, everything in a first in a square way and then in the diagonal way so in the diagonal way I checked in the with the insurance company that if any employer has the like for insurance or collective agreement what is the point to have like uh, to, to, to deduct my salary or to deduct uh, um, uh, the payroll uh, payroll uh, insur insurance uh, premium for one employee and then they say that this this will be it will be 31.42 percent so if your salary is suppose 30,000 30,000 multiply 31.42 percent what is the amount if this amount is mentioned in your payslip then you have you are secured you are like um, the company the employer is maintaining your insurance with uh, in a very good way with you so uh, i would i would recommend you also if you have a digital mailbox like kibra k i v r a dot s e kibra if you have a kivra.se registered there as a digital mailbox and you will have all the information from the insurance company there and you can see and you can check you can just call them or mail them they will respond to you immediately and then you can check with them if you registered in their company or not if you are not then immediately check with your HR uh, company HR or your CEO or your immediate boss so that they can ensure you that everything is in all right otherwise if it's not all right insured by yourself like a private insurance you can you can also uh, make a premium or something like that with with a private uh, as a private person with the insurance company do that so that company is not secure you but you can secure by yourself so that you can you, you cannot be re rejected after two years or you don't need to get back to your country then so it's a, it's a very big deal actually so i should say that check your collective agreement with your employer and all the insurance is insured by a good company and it is maintaining every month in a parallel way in a very very like systematic way i should say then i will talk about uh, the salary and uh, the vacation because salary and vac vacation is also important sweden is a country who who is like maintaining the work life balance in a very good way 
so if you are like uh, working or working workaholic or something you cannot think without any working uh, like uh, the mails and connection phone with the with the suppliers with the customers every time when you are work, not working or you are in weekend but you are working like this this is possible in bangladesh but here in sweden they don't allow this you 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 just have to uh, have to give them like 8 hours that is the parallel standard of uh, of uh, every employee in sweden so in 8 hours you will be giving your best to the employer after 8 hours this is your family time this is your time so uh, you should not work on that time so this is very strict so for the vacation you have to have a 25 days vacation in a year and these 25 days you have to take some people do that do like that way that they take the vacation but in a way in a cash or something they work sometimes they work without thinking anything and then it is men men mentioned in their in their payslip that uh, he did take the vacation but uh, he got the salary for that and then when you're submitting this payslip to the uh, migrations worker, it's uh, it's obvious they will understand everything. They will cross check with the company or with the insurance company or is cut the worker because the tax company they know if the tax is deducted or not. So they will ensure that okay, this man take the vacation, but he did jo uh, did job and uh, got got paid maybe by cash or something. So this will be ah uh, this will be coming bringing into light uh, like uh, uh, you, you will not understand but here is some kind of system so that they know everything so don't do that just take your vacation have family time doesn't matter you can have this kind of thing after your permanent residency or after your passport then you can do anything you don't need to take vac vacation you don't need to take anything but this kind like this four years or five years you have to maintain all the rules like the swedish rules to take to to apply for the permanent residency or passport and then after getting the passport then you can do anything you want but this four years or five years you have to maintain the things in a very good way otherwise you will be rejected and you have to be got back to your country so i will i will say that uh, the vacation is very important 25 days in first first year you will get 25 days and i will recommend that 25 days you take full 25 days not uh, like uh, five days saving for the other uh, second year or the next year and then uh, there will be 30 days don't do that because this is the first year you can take all the all the vacation next year maybe you can do that like 20 days you can take and five days you can save for the third year no problem but first year you should take all the vacation because it will be shown in your payslip and then uh, if you you, you enjoyed the vacation and everything then uh, migration workers will un also understand that you are like coping with the Swedish culture and everything I, I would recommend everyone to uh, enjoy the vacation take the vacation and don't work during the vacation this is very important they will get no but uh, then uh, you will understand you will not understand why they reset your 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 like work resident permit or permanent residence or something so why you are like uh, doing this kind of shitty things uh, uh, just uh, j just for the vacation you can take the vacation and it doesn't matter what money you will get during this vacation so just take this vacation and then uh, have time with your family don't do do overdo anything because uh, there is a system here and this system is maintaining by the central uh, government so they will get to know everything you, you cannot uh, make them full if you want if you want to and uh, then the salary uh, most of the people they are calling me they are trying to give me some information that uh, or trying to ask me some information that that uh, if uh, i get uh, 14000 salary uh, is it uh, is it okay or 13500 salary is it okay for me to have the work permit this is okay 13,000 is the is the written document by migrations market but sometimes there are something you have to be very smart and thinking in a smart way so that you know what can be in the long term so if you joined in 13,000 maybe in one week you are sick and you get paid like 80% from your salary and then this 20% maybe five days 20% it will be like uh, uh 100 percent uh, uh vac vacation or you will not get paid for this uh, uh 20 percent of uh, of your from your employer then the salary will be maybe it can be twelve thousand eight hundred 
or maybe 12,900, maybe 12,950 Swedish crown, then for this 50 Swedish crown in a one month, you can get rejected from the from the migration worker for the when you are applying for the extension or something. So the salary I would recommend 14,000 or 15,000. 15,000 will be the very good. Then you you are very safe. You are uh, you, you are not in a in a in a position that uh, if you are sick, you, if you are not doing the perfect hour, if you are not getting the perfect hour for the job, you will you, maybe you will get one thousand less, maybe fourteen thousand. Even if fourteen thousand, it's beyond the limit. So uh, I think that that's okay. But thirteen thousand or thirteen thousand five hundred is a kind of risk area. So just have the have have uh, you have to cross the limit and then just uh, fourteen thousand five hundred make a deal or 15,000 to be safe say and then you will get paid in every month 15,000 just to be careful that if the salary in one pay slip is below than 13,000 talk with your employer talk you with your manager that it can harmful for you for you even if it's a one crown even if it's a five crown like 30 uh, 12,995 Swedish crown it's the five crown uh, one applicant or two applicant got rejected last time in Malmo that they have like five crown discrepancy in the pay slip during uh, one month or two months so they got rejected only for five crown so I should say that uh, just immediately talk with your uh, with your employer that I will do this kind of hour in the next month please do something with my pay slip now for this month and then if they revise this with uh, like uh, uh, with a uh, 10 crown or five crown more just do it in a in a 100 crown so that it can show that 13,100 crown not 13,010 crown it can be some problem also so it can it can be it can be looking as a fishy way that maybe you are doing something wrong with the payslip or something so don't do that just make it in a, in a round figure you understand better what I'm saying because this kind of situation has been occurred every year and now Swedish government is very very positive uh, to uh, to give the work permit and uh, also the uh, also the extension and also when they are like uh, like uh, working with the uh, uh, working with the work permit uh, uh, extension or something they they they, they take a uh, very long time for the permanent residency they take more than six months and for the passport they are taking like uh, more than one year so it takes time and uh, they know as well that uh, it will take time and we know as well it will take time but during this time, it should be perfect, it should be accurate. This video is in English because there are lots of people who are asking me uh, to make this video in English so that some Swedish people, like those who are living in Sweden now, from Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and some other countries like from Africa, uh, or some, uh, some are from Middle East or some other countries, they're also coming here and then they are struggling with the work permit and work residence, residence uh, extension permit sometimes for the permanent residency they are they are struggling so they are requested me to make this video in english so that they can understand everything from other country as well and uh, i would uh, make everyone aware about this uh, work resident permit uh, uh, segment that this journey is quite long like four years anything can happen in this four years nobody knows what will happen like after five minutes or something so i should say that uh, it, it will take time just be in a flow if you are like doing a job with a less salary and you are not happy with your employer just do it for four years and when you are getting like a permanent residency quit the job and then do your uh, make, make entrepreneurship or make a business uh, or do some other jobs find some other jobs no problem at all but now it's a flow and you have to go with the flow if you're like frustrated with the, after two years oh this is shitty job I don't want to do any job now and uh, I want to do any business or I want to go to another employer then your work permit will be starting from to, from from the very beginning and uh, you have to pass again four years so I should say that you should not think about this if you are settled with your uh, with your employment and everything just go with the flow just uh, pass the time and then you will uh, have have the feeling at the vibe after four years when you will get the permanent residency I should say I should recommend everyone who are suffering who are struggling with uh, all the systems and everything the system is quite simple the system is quite easy if you are maintaining the system in a very way right way in a, in their way not in your way 
if you're thinking the system oh i will control the system by myself no it will not work it is their system so just buy with your, your, your with yourself in a in a in a very good way with their system and after four years when you are getting everything then you can think about your in, 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 think about this with in a, another way maybe i don't know but uh, i'm very used to with the swedish system now uh, i feel very comfortable because uh, i think that uh, this is uh, this is the system i wanted uh, uh, like 10 years before in my country uh, unfortunately we didn't have this kind of system in our country and uh, i don't know if we we will have this in our country because the the the, the, the government the the political chain and uh, the the educated person maybe uh, there are lots of educated person in our member of parliament in our parliament of course but uh, they don't have the power maybe or they don't want to do something good for our country people maybe i don't know but, but uh, the, the it seems like that the political person is a go overflow with, with with the with the things what they want so even if there are lots of people are dying even if uh, there are lots of uh, catastrophe begins begins they, even if the, the the country is going low, going down laying down or uh, something happened in the, in the country they don't care about that maybe but i'm very 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 uh, opposite thinking negative thinking because the after all the sufferer are the normal people the regular people uh, it it called the uh, in our country it called am janata it's a uh, normal people shadharan manush so i should say that uh, this kind of regular people who are like uh, struggling a lot who are like doing job in every 12 hours they are maintaining their family they are uh, getting their child uh, in a uh, uh, in a very good life uh, with their very 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 hardly income salary i should say that this uh, the, the the government uh, uh, should not play with them should not uh, should not play with this kind of people so that uh, they they can uh, they, they can die in a catastrophe like this i uh, i saw the dhaka city the the uh, old dhaka city area it's a kind of uh, it's it's a kind of uh, hell now because uh, there are lots of uh, I, I was uh, showing to my uh, to my office uh, last day that uh, yesterday that uh, how is dhaka uh, it's old dhaka city old dhaka city look like and then they said oh what the shit here it's like a hell there is nothing uh, there is not no way to go in the road there is no main road there are lots of people and the this is very clumsy area all the i should say that just 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 break all the things and uh, make it uh, clean shift this to the another place so that they can have a good life because th this can happen again this uh, fire this kind of uh, earthquake it can happen anytime so you should prepare for that i should say that uh, uh, the prepare preparation the awareness should be start from the regular people don't wait for the for the government for other people that they will make something better and you will uh, you, you you will have it in a, in a way they they will uh, they, they they will not do anything and uh, you are not doing anything so uh, after all in final finally uh, this is your lives and uh, you are you are dying so uh, just uh, be safe uh, i will pray uh, i will pray for the soul uh, for the soul who, who dead already in the chok bazar area and uh, just pray for them uh, for their for their soul uh, i will i will i will believe that uh, they will be happy in 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 the other world where they are they, they're gone now so uh, be safe uh, i will recommend everyone to be safe and uh, have a good life Assalamu alaikum Allah Hafiz